Welcome back, or just welcome if you're new here. My name is Brandon Rainese, and you are watching Literally Visual. Today, that means we're gonna be talking about Instagram superstar, Brandon Wolfell. Wolfell, full, Wolfell. At 3.1 million followers on Instagram, it's safe to say that Brandon's recipe is pretty much bulletproof. Let's hop into that Instagram account right now and pick apart some of the details in these photos to see how Brandon is shooting on set and what he's doing for his edits that give him such an amazing style. Before we start, I would like to say that these videos are not meant to enable you to copy another artist's style. It's simply designed to equip you with the tools you'll need to develop your craft and hopefully one day end up with 3.1 million followers on Instagram. Let's dive in. Lots of pinks and blues, lots of lifted shadows, tons of bokeh, a lot of things in the foreground framing the model, almost pastel-like looking colors, so a little bit desaturated. You can tell here, especially in the lights, the bokeh in the background, how teal and how pink things really are. Okay, here's where it gets fun too. He's using a lot of reflections, things like the models wearing glasses or holding mirrors or water on the ground reflecting lights, a lot of light play. Ah, I love this picture of the little dog with the, it looks like a little baby Yoda from the Mandalorian. I'm not, I'm not saying that you can't do this with an iPhone. I'm saying it would be a little bit more challenging. You have to kind of get a little bit tricky with how you do that. For the most part, it looks like you're gonna be using like a mirrorless or DSLR camera, something with some fast glass, something like a 1.4. And the lenses that he's using, um, I, cheat, <laughs> I cheated on that. He's actually in between 24 mil and like 85 mil. 90% of the time, I would say, if not more. Okay, the one with the water. Let's look at the background because that's the more important part on this as far as the edit goes. Look at that gradient. Teal, pink, boom. One of the things I love about Brandon Wolfell's style is that you don't have to travel to get the shot. Most of the shots that he did look like they were done in his bedroom or by a random bush in front of his apartment. First, we gotta go to the dollar store and get some props. I'm gonna show you everything we're gonna need to set up some of that just the little, little details of the images that you'll just, let's go. Okay, just got back from the dollar store, picked up some of these little battery operated LED lights. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in a mason jar and then hand them to the model and take pictures of them like that. Don't ask me why I have a sequence pillow laying around my house, but I do okay. And that's all, that's all right. You can have one of these, it's not against the law. Shine a light at it, and boom, you get all this really cool, you probably can't see that here. Ooh, magical. You'll know that your studio lighting is on point once it starts to feel like a David Bowie album cover, or maybe like a roller rink that only plays show tunes. Another trick that I've seen Brandon Wolfell use is to get a sandwich bag and some magic markers, color it, and that's what you're gonna use to create some of that foreground depth and trippiness. Now, all we need to do is find a model, preferably a woman, but, a dog or a cat will do in a pinch. Let's go. Excuse me, miss. Can I interest you in a photo shoot down by the creek or possibly in my home studio? Uh, no thanks. Would this change your mind? Ooh. Come on in. <laughs> Let's run through my camera settings real quick. For this, I want a fast shutter speed. The reason why I want a fast shutter speed is because if I do a long exposure and those lights move at all, or my hand moves at all, we're gonna get blurring effect of that light. I want my light crisp, little balls of light. I need my aperture at 1.4. ISO, I'm gonna keep my ISO as low as I can, which is gonna be right around that 100 mark, so that way I keep a lot of the noise out of the photo. We're gonna try some out here. It's obviously not ideal conditions because it's in the middle of the day. We'll give it a shot. Ah.
All right, guys, we're back in the studio now. That was a really fun shoot. Ultimately, my favorite images that we took happened right in here in a controlled environment. Here are my favorite top three images of the shoot, and the edit is almost identical across all three of them, so I'm only gonna take you through one just to save you some time. Let's take a look at the finished edits first. This picture I really enjoy. I love the pose that she's doing. She's got kind of a, a librarian thing going on, especially here, grabbing the glasses, and we're utilizing those glasses. We've got the bokeh, we've got the pinks, the blues, lots of light play in the room. My favorite picture of the shoot, though, has to be this one. I love the glow coming off of the jar and how it's projecting onto her face, but then you have the heat coming off of that lamp on the other side of her. We've got lots of bokeh in the background as well. I've taken the liberty, obviously, of jumping ahead and editing these. I've written down the cheat sheet right here. Let's go through the edit, starting with the raw photo. Be sure to pay close attention to the sliders during this segment because I've sped it up to save you some time. Feel free to watch it a couple times if you need to. For this particular image, my end goal is to turn the blues into aquas, the purples into pinks, and introduce a soft pastel-like palette by lifting some of the shadows. I'm also going to show you how to introduce some bokeh artificially if needed. go much further we are going to add a curve lift shadow region just a little bit right there and that'll help bring that kind of cool looking fade in and then we're just gonna bump up the highlights a little bit give it a nice smooth s curve I am gonna bring a gradient in this upper top left corner and this is gonna help kind of shift some of those blues into the pink. Just gonna paint over some of these rougher areas, smooth these out here. And the reason why I did this is because females generally they want their skin to look really soft, right? They want to look like that model in the magazine, and we all know how much brushing those people get. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I know I did. If you did, feel free to hit the like and the subscribe and turn those notifications on. I'll be posting all of these photos from this session on my personal Instagrams, at Brandon Rainies. Also, I'll be providing a link to Brandon Wolfville's Instagrams down below in the description. Make sure you check it out and follow him if you're not already one of his 3.1 million subscribers. I will see you guys on the next shoot.